This year in Northeast Indiana alone, there will be 8,300 cases of cancer diagnosed. And luckily, we are in an area where we have access to Radiation Oncology Associates and Dr. Chang, um, who specialize in radiation oncology to treat cancer. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Dr. Chang, where are we right now? So we're currently in the CyberKnife Vault, which is the room in which the CyberKnife is housed uh, here on the Parfu North Campus. Uh, the patients will come in and they'll lay on the treatment table you see behind us for 45 minutes or more uh, and get their treatment. Um, this room is actually more advanced than your typical radiation room beyond the fact that it has a cyber knife. It actually has two x-ray machines that are mounted above us uh, on the ceiling as well as a motion detector that allow us to know where the tumor is at any point in time. Wow. Um, I assume that the CyberKnife is used to treat cancer, but um, what exactly is the CyberKnife? So uh, the CyberKnife is used to treat uh, more than just cancer. Actually, it's used to treat benign tumors and functional disorders as well. Um, the CyberKnife is basically a powerful tool that allows us to provide patients with a non-invasive alternative to conventional surgery for tumors anywhere in the body. And it's able to accomplish this because of its extreme precision uh, to deliver high doses, high potent doses of radiation to the tumor and minimize the dose to the normal surrounding tissues. So how does this differ from surgery? Um, so this is completely an outpatient procedure. So patients uh, will lay on the treatment table for 45 minutes or more and they can go home or go back to work that same day. Uh, there are no incisions, so there's no need for any uh, or no risk of any infection, bleeding or pain and there's no need for anesthesia. So this is really a win-win for the patient where they get the exceptional control rates comparable to surgery while not having to have any of the uh, adverse effects of an invasive procedure. Wow. Um, how does the CyberKnife differ from other radiation machines? Uh, so the CyberKnife is extremely precise, and in my opinion, it's the most advanced uh, radiation machine in the, in the world, at least that's available commercially. Um, it is able to precisely deliver radiation with sub-millimeter accuracy to the tumor. And it also has a, an added feature called real-time tracking. So it's able to actually pinpoint the location of the tumor and deliver the radiation to the tumor as it moves through the body. So in the case of prostate cancer, you can imagine the prostate is this walnut-shaped gland that sits between two balloons, a bladder that fills with urine and a rectum that fills with gas and stool. And those balloons change their size and shape you know, at different points of time during the day, depending on what the patient ate or drank. And um, using conventional radiation machines that many have out in the community, uh, they'll shoot a couple of x-rays immediately before the treatment, line the radiation beam up to the prostate gland where it sat at that particular time. But over the course of that 20 minute treatment, uh, that prostate gland can move. In fact, that's well documented. So what the radiation oncologist will have to do using another machine they'll have to actually increase the size of the radiation field in order to not miss the prostate gland. And what they'll do is they'll end up irradiating a lot more normal tissue, like the rectum and the bladder. In the case of the CyberKnife, the CyberKnife knows exactly where the prostate gland is at any point in time. So we can use very tight margins. And by doing so, we can escalate the dose to the tumor um, and shorten the treatment time from 40 or more treatments using uh, some of those other machines to just four to five treatments using the CyberKnife. Is the CyberKnife program currently involved in any clinical trials? Yes, we're currently involved in uh, six phase two and three uh, national and international clinical trials that are looking at the role of CyberKnife in patients who are healthy enough or unhealthy uh, to undergo uh, surgery for lung cancer, patients who have uh, spread of cancer to the brain or the spine, or patients who have low or intermediate risk prostate cancer. And we're actually the national leaders uh, in uh, enrolling patients to a phase three international trial called the STARS protocol, which is gathering a lot of national media attention, uh, which is directly comparing CyberKnife versus conventional surgery for patients who are healthy enough to undergo a lung cancer surgery. Um, it sounds like a big step forward for, for cancer patients and for those who are treating them. Um, so is there anything that makes a patient a better candidate for the CyberKnife um, compared to other treatments? 
Uh, well, we work closely with the patient and their physicians to tailor the treatment to their unique situation. Uh, that being said, patients who are not healthy enough to undergo a rigorous surgery, uh, patients who have tumors that are in locations that uh, are very tricky to operate on and would be hazardous to operate upon, as well as patients who uh, just wish for a non-invasive alternative to surgery, all those patients would be good candidates uh, potentially for CyberKnife treatment. How can patients learn more about radiation oncology uh, and the CyberKnife and uh, the Radiation Oncology Associates? Uh, well, they can visit us on the web at roafw.com, and uh, there are plenty of resources as well as contact information. Uh, and they can also meet with us at any of our four locations for a formal consultation to discuss their candidacy um, at either Angola, uh, Warsaw, or here in uh, Fort Wayne at either Parkview or Lutheran hospitals. This information has been very helpful, certainly useful uh, to anyone facing a cancer diagnosis. Be sure you check out Radiation Oncology Associates today.